What is going on everybody? So I did make an old video on how to stop your Amazon Fire Stick from updating, okay? And the current Fire Stick that is attached to my PC that I use for my videos, it still has that feature on it and it will not update. And I know a lot of Fire Sticks currently have updated to the point where you can no longer find your developer options. So I'm gonna have to either restart or refresh this uh, Fire Stick, you know, restore it to default in order for me to use it or I got to find one of my other fire sticks uh, laying around the house to perform the video that you're probably going to see in the next few days of me showing you how to unhide your developer options once again. But uh, in this video that I made a while back that you're going to see after this portion of the beginning video. Um, this video, if you ha if your Fire Stick has not updated, uh, do this and it will no longer update. I'm just going to transition over really quick and show you. So this is the uh, Fire Stick uh, Max 4K that I've been using, the 4K Max. And if you go down to update, because I wanted to update after hearing the news, and if I click on update, it keeps saying right there on the left hand or right hand side, it says update error. Unfortunately, we encountered an error while trying to update your system software, please try again later. So it means that the next part of the video that you're about to see still works and is still going strong on my Amazon Fire Stick. So once again, this next video portion will only work on an Amazon Fire Stick that has not updated as of yet. So if it works for you, great. If it doesn't, I'll make a video uh, in the next day or two on how to unhide your developer options. So with that said, Let's check out the video next. Do you want to learn how to stop Amazon Fire devices from updating? Well, let's click right into it next. Hello and welcome back. So I recently I made a video stating that Amazon is going to be rolling out a new uh, software update, so not allowing you to have any of those custom home launchers that change your Amazon home screen, okay, to make it look like an NVIDIA Shield or just customize the background, the foreground, and all the grounds. So if you don't want your stick to update for any reason, here's what you got to do. Now, real quick, I'm just going to scroll over to settings. I'm going to scroll down to My Fire TV. I'm going to highlight about and click it and then I'm going to scroll down to check for update and click it and see it checks for updates. Okay. Now from here, I'm just going to hit the Amazon home screen button one time. So what I want to do is scroll over to downloader, highlight it and click it. Now, once downloader comes up, if you do not already have it, I have other videos on how to install downloader. It is a free app to get from the Amazon app store. Just Log in, type in downloader, and it should automatically come up, okay? Once you have downloader, you're going to be highlighted on go once you enter into it. So scroll up where you can highlight with the cursor where it says enter a URL or search term and click it one time. If you do not already have my code, it is going to be 92769, 92769. Scroll down to go and click it. It should automatically redirect you and bring you to the Dr. Venture homepage or my app store. Okay, now once it does, what I would do is add it to your favorites. So click the options button on your remote and then click on add current page to favorites. And then down below, click on save. And you should be good to go, adding it to favorites. Now, once you're in the store, you can click it twice, the options button, and it makes it bigger so you can see what's going on. Start to scroll down <clears throat> ever so slightly. And what I want you to do is go over to Android Tools and click it. Now, in Android Tools, you're going to want to scroll down. It's called Update Blocker. So there it is all the way down at the bottom, alphabetically, update blocker, fire stick, FS. So try to get the cursor on it the best you can and click it. Then it's going to say, fire OS update blocker. Do you want to install this application? It does not require any special access. So what you want to do is scroll twice down, highlight cancel from cancel, scroll once to the right onto install and click it. Allow it to install. It says app install. Beautiful. You can launch it if you want. However, wait till that disappears. Right behind my picture, you're going to be highlighted on done. So keep it there and click done one time. It's going to bring you back into the install process. Now from install, scroll once to the right onto delete and click it. And it's going to say confirm from cancel. Scroll once to the left onto delete and click it. And now you've just deleted the file. 
because you no longer need the file since you've installed the application. So if you're good to go, you can scroll around, pick and choose whatever you want. Otherwise, click the Amazon home screen button one time, brings you back to the Amazon home screen. Now from here, I want you to click and hold the Amazon home screen button down between two and five seconds. Comes up like this, scroll once over to apps and click it. And then what you wanna do is scroll backwards. Now, unfortunately, it's not going to come up as far as a, an icon in the newest version of the Amazon Fire Sticks, okay? So it's grayed out on mine. So I just wanna keep it grayed out. I wanna know what it is. I wanna highlight it and click it one time. It's gonna go through the initial setup. Now, once the initial setup comes up, you're gonna see allow US be debugging, make sure your debugging is on in developer options. You're gonna to wanna to highlight where it says always allow from this computer, click it one time, and then scroll once down to okay and click it. And now it's up, Fire OS Update Blocker. So you have block, scroll down, highlight block, unblock or check status. Now what you wanna do is, you wanna scroll over to block and click it one time. You're gonna see it's gonna go through the motions. It's gonna to start to block everything that you need to be blocked. So once it goes through the motions down at the bottom, you're gonna see where it says success, all right? It's the third line up from the direct bottom. It says Kara Kara, success. Once it says success, you are good to go. So click the back button one time. Now you can go through and check status, do whatever you want, but what I'm gonna do is click the home screen button one time. It brings you back to the Amazon home screen. Then I'm gonna scroll back over to settings, go down to my Fire TV and click it and then keep about highlighted, click it one time, then scroll down to check for updates and click it, and it says update error, which means that the, your Fire Stick is no longer going to automatically update, it's not gonna download any updates, it's not gonna see any updates, unless you unblock from inside the update blocker, okay? It's a very simple, very easy tutorial how to stop the updates, especially if you have a home launcher or you just don't want your Fire device to update because you did something crazy and you don't want any Amazon people ruining it for you. So with that said, this is exactly how you do it. I hope it works for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, I thank you for watching. If you like this video, click subscribe and the notification bell to get notified of future videos.